Hi guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And today I am here to give you an update on how I'm feeling since Friday having my SCAD or my coronary dissection. Uh, I'm going to either try doing a card and put it here um, or I'll link my last video below so that you can um, kind of understand what happened to me. Uh, I am, as you can tell, I'm still tired um, and it's been a bit of a challenge trying to take it all in, you know. Um, Lots of talking, lots of crying, um, lots of getting uh, frustrated and angry and I'm kind of going through all the emotions right now and in all fairness it's, it's not just me, it's, it's my family as well. Um, one of the, the hardest things to do was yesterday my parents came over and you know we were supposed to have Thanksgiving dinner which we did have but I I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for the help of my husband and then afterwards with my son because I'm I'm tired and um, they have been nothing but supportive so yesterday I I sat my parents down and had to explain to them everything and that's not easy you know um, usually when you get sick okay there is a beginning and a middle and an end be it that the end is is you know a, a good outcome or a bad outcome the thing with SCAD is that there's no answers and I'm not sick. See, that's the, the, the weird part. See, um, and I can't give my parents a definitive answer as to what the future's gonna hold. I can't give my husband that answer. I cannot give my son. I can't give anybody. But at the same time, you don't want to go through the rest of your life living it and worrying every single second, when am I going to die? Because we all are going to die eventually. And, you know, everybody says, well, you could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Yes, you can. <laughs> but regardless when you are faced with something like this um there there is a period where there has to you know be some moving through some emotions and it takes time and that's what i'm trying to do right now with the help of my family um I recorded a video yesterday that I was going to put up today and I actually ditched it because I was like, wow, um, it was not the message that I wanted to convey to you. Um, SCAD is not a death sentence um, because really they don't know enough about it to to say that um crapshoot maybe you know um of course this may never happen again either you know it, it was three years since i had my last heart attack so and then what do you do like do do i sit at home and wait for it to happen again or or do we move on you know um i'm going to be talking to the family doctor i'm going to start making appointments with specialists and you know 
get the ball rolling to getting my life back. Um, this has thrown us for a loop, but it's also made me realize that nothing happens without a reason. And, you know, you guys know that I have another channel um, that I, I started just on a whim because that's how I roll. And I, I had said like it was kind of my place to play. And I quickly was like, that's nah, not, not right. It's not the direction that I want to go. So I was kind of hanging with this other channel that I, I really don't know what to do with. And I was thinking that I'm going to change that uh, Tina's Kitchen and I'm going to make it into um, a vlog channel. And I think it's going to be me talking about my feelings trying to get through this. Um, you know, things with the family and how I'm feeling about, you know, with doctor's appointments and everything, because nobody really knows a lot about SCAD. And um, there is a Facebook group, there's tons of them. And I did join one, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm a bit of an introvert. I'm a lot of an introvert and, and I don't really like meh, all that well in that kind of a setup, but I love, I, I've enjoyed the past 24 hours that they've let me come into their group, um, reading about different things and everybody was very welcoming. But I think what I would like to do is to um, take my other channel and make it about my journey living with SCAD because SCAD is not gonna go away. Um, but it may never happen again, but emotionally it kind of screws you up. So, uh, for those of you that, um, may get uncomfortable with what I'm going to tell you, um, I am going to go and talk to somebody, a professional, because I think when you are faced with something like this, and especially when you have had two heart attacks and you, you, you have no way to prevent them, um, you cannot deal with that alone, okay? So I think that it's better for me to involve a professional that can help me negotiate the, all of the feelings and the things that I have in my head. Because ultimately, I want to live my life and, and I want to do all the things that I was doing before the second heart attack. I want to cut down the toxicity in my life and increase the positivity so that when things happen, I'm in a better state emotionally to deal with it. I am going to continue to train and to get my body in such a way that I feel that I am giving myself the best chance. Losing the 80 pounds was fantastic. I feel great, but I still have a ways to go. I'm going to continue that. <coughs> Excuse me. And ultimately at the end of this, I want to be doing anything and everything that I can to give myself and my family and my friends and everybody, be you my YouTube friends or my friends in my day-to-day -day life, the best me that I can. And I think that I have a great opportunity to show that process doing this vlog. So 
I would really appreciate um, letting me know in the comments below if that's something you would like to see. Um, if you have any ideas, if you don't want to share it in the in the comments, uh, my email's there. You can email me, um, get you know, send me a DM, whatever you want to do. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. You let me know. And if you know anybody that is living with SCAD, I would really appreciate that you point them towards me because I don't know anybody else who's living with it. And, and really, it's a terrible feeling to feel alone. And, and I would love to know some people and, and maybe um, be able to interact and and learn you know so that's gonna be it for today guys um, I will see you tomorrow you enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much for listening I love you like mad bye for now